What's up guys, Rob here at Float World and today we have a special one. We get to work on my best friend's flashboard and the reason why we get to work on it because I don't know, let me see if I can get you to hear this but there's something in the controller that is loose and so when he was riding I guess the screw would glitch or hit something and he nosedive. He was luckily able to ride it out. So we're just going to go ahead. He needs new bearings. We're going to fix that problem. Whatever's, whatever's going on in there. New bumpers. We're just new, new tire. He wants a new tire, new, uh, new lifesavers. So. Yeah, we're, we're going to get this done and we're going to do it step by step, take our time, make sure everything is done right. Because like I said, this is our best friend's board. Sam, we're going to take care of you. What the fuck is in there? Anyways, yeah, so um, let's kind of dive on in and we won't sit here and do the whole board, but you can tag along and I'll, uh, I'll show you the parts on when I get to it and see what we find, alright? Okay, let's do it guys. Let's dive on in. Well, we got the board apart down to the, uh, down to the skeleton. Uh, remember we had that little, look, I think you can still hear it. Let's, there's something in there. We're going to see what it is. I'm going to say... It's a screw that has come loose. There's some Phillips in here. I'm going to say it has come loose. It happened to my board. I, I sent it back to Feature Motion like an idiot. And they all they said was there was a foreign object in the, in the controller. Fuck. At least I got that response. Most of the time you don't get a response from the douchebags. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. I've got one screw left in it right here. And let's see what is in it. So, we're going to take this out. And let's come in. I want you to I want you to experience this with me. Let's see what we've got. You ready? Look, we put in this new gasket from Float Life. It is fucking awesome. I bet it still fits good, but yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go. Ready? What do we got? Oh, look, do you see it? Who sees it? I see it right there. Look. You motherfuckers, you. We gotta get that out. And there she be. So. What is happening is, is that these little screws come loose, and while you're riding, it sits here and it hits the wrong little spot, and your board just shuts off. That's a problem. Look, there's where it goes, right in there. So we're going to go ahead and check all of these. I would suggest you do the same. There's one in here, here. Here, here, he's supposed to be here, so yeah, and if you're curious, <clears throat> the Sure Start Pro did work with the update, and we still, we haven't had a problem with it, or anything, but that's ridiculous, this sent my best friend flying off his board, luckily he was able to run it out, so, he's got those long, janky ass legs, he's like six fucking something so he was good but mm, fuck you at the same time so there was a problem guys go ahead take your controller part put in a new gasket from float life we have them they're awesome one will float.com we've got them in stock and look and this has been on for a while and that is it, it just fits so nice they did a great job with that. But anyways, 
We're gonna get this screw back in. Motherfuckers. And everything else looks good, so we'll we'll uh we'll get that back in and we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, well we've got that screw back in. <clears throat> I went ahead and I stuck just a little bit of hot glue just on each one nothing but just very little see that just very little so I think we're gonna be okay I'm gonna stop those screws from coming out they did have uh, Loctite on there but you know you can only screw them so tight you don't want to crack the board or anything so yeah, we've got that taken care of, him. and uh, shore starts okay. Let's move on. We're gonna we're gonna replace the bearings on this. Look at what the heat has done. We're gonna scrape this off. It looks like barnacles on the ship, but the heat from the motor is just man, it it, it cooks that uh, tire sealant. So we're going to clean that off for him, but we'll put in new bearings, and then he wants the, uh, the new Future Motion Performance tire, so we'll stick that on there for him, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get after this one, see how this goes. Okay, so we've got the bearings changed. And it turns out it was only this one. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's definitely making a noise. Switched it out. And we now have him a nice new fag bearing in there. Did have the float steel. Gonna have to hit them up. They'll take care of us. They always do. But we got the fag in there, and it's working perfect all right so got the barnacles cleaned up staters looking good o-rings look good just the bearing bearing on this one we actually had a hybrid we had this one is the fag and then we had the float life still in there but the other float life steel that we had, we were going to do steel on both of these, but the other one was um, wore out. So we stuck in this one hoping that it would be okay, and it was not. So, the faggy goes. We'll get all this put back together, and let's get to the tire and the rim savers. So we're making good progress guys just be careful when removing your motor cover watch out for these little you don't want to detach those when you're pulling it up but yeah stator looks good magnets look good no damage magnets All right, let's move on. All right, guys, we have got to the section of the Lifesavers. And these are the new ones, too, from Float Life. These are just the new ones for the GT. The uh, XR and Pint will still be the same. They will look like this. And then you'll go to that. These are a lot easier to put on. I'm going to show you, but these look a lot better too, a lot better. So let's see if I can show you, let's see if we can get these on, yeah. Find a spot to put it on, I like to start with the valve stem. And then you gotta work your ass all the way around. 
Let's get that. Ah, fuck. Okay, let's try that again. See what I'm talking about? It is so hard to get these motherfuckers on. <clears throat> Holy shit. Yeah, I don't like that, but they do end up looking better. It came off. Let's try to get it. We got it. We got it. Come on, just lip on. Right there. There you go. Ah. Yeah. So see, now you got this nice flat edge instead of this boxy shit they used to have. But man, these were a lot easier to put on. Especially if you uh, if you got arthritis in your hands or whatever. You might want to have somebody younger to uh, do this for you. But let's... Uh, Let's give it another go. <sighs> okay, let's uh let's just do this. Oh man. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is really hard, and they'll tell you, go boil them, well, go do it, and see if that helps you, because it doesn't, not on these fuckers, oh man, we gotta get it. Working it around if your hands will let you. Oh, fuck. I haven't worked that hard all day. Holy shit. And, uh, that's what you end up with. Nice smooth looking rim savers. That looks dope. I can't even see it, but I bet it looks dope. Yeah, it looks dope. And there we go, guys. We've got the lifesavers installed. Uh, we did the Nimrods yesterday. Up a little clip of that as well. But yeah, he's got the Nimrods installed. That took a little work. And then we got the lifesavers on today. So the bearings, the Nimrods, the lifesavers, the tire is now complete. So yay. I'm glad that 
that went right. Man, it hurt my hands. Okay, so that is done, and I guess the next step is to to put the board back together. Well, we'll pop the tire, pop the bead. That's that's simple, and all that. And uh, we'll do that, and uh, then we'll put it on the board. Bang bumpers are gonna come out here soon, so we're gonna wait and just put the other stock uh, bumpers back on for now until the bangs come out. But yeah, let's move on. Let's pop this bead. See how hard that'll be. Alright guys, we've got Sam's board together. New bearings, new tire, fixed the controller. We, we haven't even seen if it turns on yet. Let's see if it turns on. Oh yeah, it turns on. Awesome. Good start, so uh, let's test it out. Do a little lip. You, I, I don't test customers' boards out this way, but he's my best friend, and he'll have to get over it. Janky ass car pads. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, we're off to a good start. Got the tire at 14 pounds. Alright guys, well, I think that just about does it. We had a successful ride, nothing broke, everything's working back the way it should be. We got in the, the bearing protectors, the new bearings, um, new Future Motion Performance Tire, new Lifesavers, we fixed the controller. Uh, we put in the NIM rods. Yeah, we tested those out. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, those are, those are definitely worth it. Definitely gonna protect your axle a lot better. It, it just, it, you feel much more confident with the NIM rods. Just, just taking the lip, you know, or taking those big drops. You really do feel more confident, but yeah. Oh, and the cold ones. We can't forget about the cold one for them. Put on the red tab. Yeah, looks sick. But we've got that done for him. And he was uh, grateful enough to let us do this work for him. And uh, let us borrow it throughout the week. Do it here and there. So really appreciate that, Sam. Can't wait to get you riding again, and uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to go ahead and give you a call until your board's ready, buddy. But for the rest of y'all, thank y'all for uh, tagging along, and you can go to onewheelfloat.com, get pretty much all these accessories, whatever you need for your one wheel, all right? All right, guys, well, that's it. Let's get this to the customer, and as always, float the world, my friend.